Study of Language, Chapter 16. Written Language. Writing. Writing is defined as the symbolic representation of language through graphic signs, requiring conscious effort to learn. Not all languages have a written form, and many individuals cannot use writing systems even if their language has one. Writing is a relatively recent development in human history, with ancient precursors like cave drawings 20,000 years ago and clay the tokens 10,000 years ago. The earliest clear evidence of writing is cuneiform on clay tablets 5,000 years ago, followed by inscriptions in a more modern script 3,000 years ago. The development of writing traditions can be traced over a few thousand years, aiming to create a permanent record of human experiences. Pictograms Cave drawings were likely used to record events or tell stories, but are not considered a form of linguistic communication. They are seen as a form of pictorial art. However, when these drawings began to consistently represent specific images, they can be considered a form of picture writing or pictograms. Pictograms are symbols that represent meaning independently of language and can be understood across different languages and cultures. Ideograms Ideograms are symbols which represent something abstract or conceptual, except visible objects. Early pictorial representations evolved into fixed symbolic forms or ideograms that everyone should use a similar form to convey a roughly similar meaning. For example, a pictogram like sun referring to heat evolved into a more abstract symbol used to refer to heat, daytime, as well as sun. The distinction between pictograms and ideograms lies in their relationship to the entity they represent. The more picture-like forms are pictograms and the more abstract-derived forms are ideograms. Both types of symbols don't represent words or sounds in a particular language. Many writing systems originated from pictographic or ideographic symbols but become more abstract over time. For example, in Egyptian hieroglyph, the symbol was is to refer to a house and derived from the diagram-like representation of the floor plan of a house. In Chinese writing, the character weighs it for a river and had its origins in the pictorial representation of a stream flowing between two banks. However, it is important to note that neither the Egyptian nor the Chinese written symbols are actually pictures of a house or a river. They are more abstract. When we create symbols in a writing system, there is always an abstraction away from the physical world. Logograms Logograms is a way of writing in which each symbol represents a word. The Sumerians in Mesopotamia developed cuneiform writing around 5,000 years ago, using wedge-shaped symbols inscribed on clay tablets. These symbols were logograms, representing words or morphemes without indicating their meaning or sound. Cuneiform writing is an early example of logographic writing where the relationship between symbol and meaning is arbitrary, as the form of the symbol really gives no clue to what type of entity is being referred to. The cuneiform symbol below can be compared to a typical pictographic representation of the same fishy entity. We can also compare the ideogram for the sun presented earlier as with the logogram used to refer to the same entity found in cuneiform writing. Modern logograms in English arams such as eight and where each symbol represents one word, as is also the case with that. Now, one of the most common lies logograms in email addresses. Chinese writing uses logograms, or characters, to represent morphemes or words, with over 2,500 characters in everyday use. In some treatments, this type of writing is technically decibit as morphographic, because the symbols have come to be used for morphemes rather than words. Logographic systems have advantage, like facilitating communication across different dialects as that of the Chinese language. Yet, they require a large number of symbols, thus, can be challenging to learn as well. Phonographic writing. 
In phonographic writing, symbols represent sounds rather than meanings or physical objects. The Sumerian's development from pictographic to logographic writing involved using symbols for similar sounding words, even if their meanings differ. For example, the arrow symbol originally represented the word arrow ti, but was later used for the concept life ti due to similar pronunciation. Similarly, the reed symbol was adopted to represent reimbursement gi based on similar sounds. This marked a shift towards phonographic writing. The Rebus Principle The Rebus Principle is a process where a symbol for an entity is reused to represent the sound of a word or part of a word. This symbol is then used whenever that sound appears in any word. Examples include the I symbol being used for the sound I and then combined with other symbols to form new words like defy and bautai in texting, the number 2 is used to represent the sound 2 or 2. The letter U represents the sound U. In another language, the ideogram for boat becomes the logogram for the sound ba, which is then combined with another symbol to form the word for father. This process allows one symbol to have multiple uses and meanings, reducing the number of symbols needed in a writing system. Syllabic writing this is another way of writing in which each symbol represents a syllable. While no pure syllabic systems exist today, Japanese use hiragana symbols to represent spoken syllables, making it a partial syllabary. The Cherokee writing system, invented by Sequoia, is another example of a syllabic system where symbols represent syllables CV rather than individual consonants or vowels. The ancient Egyptian and Sumerian writing systems initially used logograms, but eventually, some symbols began to represent spoken syllables. They used Egyptian logograms like house and water to represent syllables, starting with ba and ma sounds, respectively, creating a syllabic writing system. Alphabetic writing An alphabet is a set of written symbols, each one representing a single type of sound or phoneme. A way of writing in which one symbol represents one sound segment. Early writing systems used symbols for syllables, but a key innovation was representing single sounds with symbols. This is the core principle of an alphabet. The Greeks improved the Phoenician alphabet by adding separate symbols for vowel sounds, creating a true alphabet with single sound correspondence. This innovation transformed the Phoenician consonant alup into the vowel symbol alpha, alongside consonant symbols like b beta. The Greeks are credited with developing the first full alphabet, which was then adopted by the Romans and spread to Western Europe, becoming the basis for the modern English alphabet. The Greek alphabet also evolved into the Cyrillic alphabet, used in Russia and Eastern Europe, Many modern European alphabet letters can be traced back to their origins in Egyptian hieroglyphics, Phoenician, and Greek symbols. Written English English language always has an inconsistency. A single sound can be represented by multiple symbols. For example, the vowel sound I can be written as I, E, and HI, etc., as shown below. This deviates from the principle of alphabetic writing where one symbol corresponds to one sound. In contrast, languages like Italian and Spanish have more consistent writing systems. The vowel sound, represented by E, is written in various ways, as shown in the first two columns on the left below, and the consonant sound, represented by sh has various spellings as in the other two columns. English orthography. The spelling system of a language is called orthography. The English writing system has a loose alphabetic structure due to historical influences and borrowing from other languages, leading to irregularities in sound symbol correspondence. The spelling of words was largely fixed in the 15th century, influenced by Latin, French, and Flemish, 
Early printers made errors in representing English pronunciations, and silent letters were retained from older pronunciations, violating the one sound one symbol principle. The silent final e in many words also affects the preceding vowels pronunciation, as seen in hat versus hate and not versus note. In the 16th century, spelling reformers altered many English words to match their perceived Latin roots, even if incorrectly. This led to changes like debt becoming debt, doubt becoming doubt, and island becoming island. Chapter completed. See you again in the next lecture. If you have not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest lecture. Thank you.